How are you supposed to hit a target if you don't even know what you're aiming for? You're a voice actor. You're an entrepreneur. You're a VOpreneur. Welcome to the Everyday VOpreneur Podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. Your number one marketing tool is your voiceover demos. When you're posting them online, you want to be sure they're playable on any device and with any browser. The Voice Sam Player does exactly that. Sign up at msvo.me slash msvoicesam and receive three months of Voice Sam for the price of one. Sign up now at msvo.me slash msvoicesam. The Veopreneur Podcast. Hey, it doesn't suck. Not as funny as Conan. Not as cute as Seth Meyers. Not as smart as Colbert. But he's one of us, and that counts for something. Here's Mark Scott, the original Everyday Veopreneur. Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the Everyday Veopreneur Podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. This week, we are going to be talking about a very appropriate subject, given the time of the year that it is. We are going to be talking about goal setting, because honestly, I think that it is one of the most important things that you can do for your voiceover business. Since we are kicking off a new year and actually kicking off a new decade, I'm hoping that there's a little bit of motivation for you to sit down and think about what is it that I really want to accomplish this year? What is it that I really want to get done in my voiceover business? Where do I want it to go? Where am I going to try to take it? What kind of work am I going to do? What kind of income do I want to earn? What are the demos that I want to get done? The coaching that I want to do? The clients that I want to work with? All of these different things that I'm hoping that you are going to take the time to think about. You know, I've been doing a lot of coaching sessions over the last several weeks, probably about three or four coaching sessions a day, working with talent who are trying to get their goals set up for 2020, trying to figure out where they wanted to go. And it was actually surprising to me how many people didn't even set goals. But that's one of the reasons why they were working with me in coaching, because they realized, looking back over 2019, that they really had no way to measure their success because they didn't even know what they were trying to accomplish in the first place. Now, a lot of people set goals. Whether you call it goals, New Year's resolutions, whatever. A lot of people set them. 92% of people never see them come to fruition. And so I want to help you to be among the 8%. The ones that have a clear vision for where they're going, are able to strategize and prioritize through the filter of their goals. And that means doing the work that needs to be done to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. So what we are going to talk about in this particular episode, seven reasons that I believe that you need to set goals. And I'm hoping by the time I get through all seven of these that you are going to see the value in it. And ultimately, you're going to spend some time thinking about all of the different things that you want to accomplish in 2020. So we're going to kick it off first with clarity. What exactly is it that you are trying to accomplish? You know, I started off this episode by asking, how are you supposed to know if you hit a target if the target is unidentified? If I hand you a bow and arrow and say, hit a bullseye, the first question you're going to ask is, where's the bullseye? And if I say, well, there is no bullseye, you're going to say, how the heck am I supposed to hit a bullseye? It's the same thing in your business. What are you trying to accomplish? Is it a specific annual income that you're working towards? Is it a certain status level within the industry? Do you want to work with particular clients? Do you want to master a particular niche or genre? Setting goals is going to help you gain clarity on what your end game is. And that, in turn, is going to help you make a plan to get there. If you don't know where you're going, you can't plot your direction. It's just like getting in a car and turning on the GPS. And unless you put a destination into the GPS, how is it supposed to tell you where to go? Same thing in your business. So the first reason why you need to set goals is because they are going to give you clarity. Now to build on that, number two on the list is focus. Once you know exactly what it is that you are wanting to accomplish, setting goals is going to help you to laser focus. 
And that means that you're going to stop devoting time and energy to unproductive tasks that you've identified as irrelevant. Everything that you are doing needs to be filtered through the lens of your goals. So when you're sitting down in your office and you feel like you're being really busy, you have to ask yourself, is all of this work that I'm doing that's keeping me busy bringing me closer to my goals? And if it's not, you're unfocused. If it's not, you are not prioritizing. Focus is going to help you commit to learning and growing in the areas that are going to get you where you want to be. Next up on the list is the plan. And we just mentioned you don't set out for a destination without some kind of plan for how you're going to get there. It's key in your voiceover business. Once you know where you're going, you need a plan for how you're going to get there. So if you tell me that your end goal is animation, but all of the leads that you are pursuing and all of the training that you are taking and the demo that you have gone out and got made for yourself is in commercial, we have a little bit of a problem. You don't have clarity. You don't have focus and your plan needs to be adjusted. Once you know where you're going, you're going to set a plan that's going to help you to get there. Once you set your goals and start breaking them down into practical, tangible steps, that is what is going to help you formulate your plan. I know where I'm going. I know what I need to do to get myself there. Here is how I'm going to get it done. Clarity, focus, plan. Number four on the list is momentum. You know what you want. Your efforts are focused. You've got your plan to get there, and now you need a little bit of momentum, and that is exactly what goals give you. As you take those small steps and cross things off your to-do list, you begin to see your goals coming closer within your reach. That's why it's so important to take your big goals and break them down into smaller goals. So if you've got annual goals, break them down into what I need to get done in a quarter, what I need to get done in a month, what I need to get done in a week. Are there baby steps that you are going to take every day that are going to bring you closer? As you work through those baby steps, you start to build that momentum that is going to keep driving you forward. If you just look at the big, huge end goal for the year and you don't break it down any smaller than that, you're probably going to feel overwhelmed and you are probably going to fail to launch. You've got to break it down and give yourself those little victories along the way so that you can build the momentum. And that momentum is going to keep you moving forward. That momentum is what is going to drive you across the finish line to accomplishing all of the goals that you set for yourself for 2020. Number five on the list is one of the most important, and it is often one of the most overlooked, and that is accountability. One of the reasons why I decided to create a mastermind group was because of accountability. I recognize the value of accountability. I recognize how it can honestly be one of, if not the most important factors in people being able to accomplish their goals because they need to be held accountable. One of the challenges of being self-employed and working from home, as most of us do, is staying accountable to getting the work done, particularly the projects and tasks that may be less than desirable. And chances are, if you are moving towards particular goals in your voiceover business, you're not going to love everything that you have to do to get yourself there. Those are the first things that you procrastinate on, but those are often the things that are going to move you towards your goal if and when you get them done. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Things like cold calling or sending emails, doing web updates, doing book work, invoicing receipts, all of that sort of thing, just to name a few. Next thing you know, we're wrapped up in housework, kids, friends, family, errands, Netflix, and countless other distractions. All of these things that are keeping us from getting where we want to go. Goals help you keep accountable. They help you keep on task. They ensure that the right work is getting done because now you have something that is measurable. That's the other thing. If you know that you are trying to get to a certain income level, then now you have something to hold yourself accountable to. Am I where I need to be this month? Am I where I need to be this week? If you're trying to contact a certain number of leads, again, now you have something that is measurable. Did I hit my 50 leads this week? What are you going to do to hold yourself accountable to hitting those 50 leads because now you have something that is measurable? The Mastermind Group exceeded all of my expectations in 2019, and I'm so excited to be doing it again in 2020. 
but you don't even have to have a mastermind group. All you need is a couple of other voice actors that you can get together with and meet with on a regular basis just to hold each other accountable to your goals. Don't overlook it. It is absolutely essential to your success. Number six on the list is potential. It is in you and probably more than you may think or realize. So for me, a few years ago, when I started doing voiceover full time, I didn't fully grasp the potential that I had in this business. Initially, because of how I came into voiceover full time, getting laid off from radio, it was more of a desperation thing like, holy crap, I don't want to be homeless. I need to figure this out. And I never really sat down and thought about the potential that I had. But now I'm here earning this crazy income, living this dream lifestyle. I've far surpassed anything that I ever could have made working in radio, which is what I did before a voiceover. And not only that, but now I get to serve as a coach which is a huge passion project for me, being able to coach and mentor people and help them achieve their voiceover dreams, setting the right goals and following through on them is going to unlock your limitless potential. Don't underestimate yourself and what you can achieve. And all of these things can be achieved when you do all of the things on this list, when you get clear about what you're trying to accomplish when you laser focus in on the tasks that you need to do, when you have a plan to get you to that end game, when you cross off those small things on your list that are going to help you to build momentum, when you build an accountability to make sure that you are doing the things that you need to do, that is what builds the potential and helps you to unlock that potential. And the final thing on the list is winning. What it all boils down to in the end is this. Goals are going to lead you to your best life. For me, in the past couple of years, I've accomplished and experienced things that I honestly probably wouldn't have even dreamed of five years ago. I wouldn't have thought that they were possible. But looking back, I can clearly see that it wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't set the goals and kept working towards them. It truly is the game changer. So there's a couple of things that I want you to think about. As you move into 2020... I would love for you to spend some time brainstorming in the next week or two about maybe three to five big things that you would like to accomplish in your voiceover business this year. Maybe one of those things is going to be an income goal. Maybe one of those things is going to have to do with coaching or training and getting yourself to a next level in your performance. Maybe one of those things is like a particular conference that you want to attend, whether that's a voiceover conference or something related to one of the genres that you're working in. Maybe there's a new demo that you are working towards. Maybe there's a particular client that you want to work towards. Maybe you want to build out your client base in a particular genre or expand into an entirely new genre. Whatever it is, I want you to sit down and I want you to think about these things. Come up with a list of at least three to five of them. Write them down. Make sure that you are specific. So, for example, if you say, I want to earn more money in 2020 than in 2019, Well, if you earn 12 cents more in 2020, then technically you achieved your goal. But I'm guessing you probably want to earn more than an extra 12 cents in 2020. So make sure that you are very specific with your goals. Make sure that they are measurable. You need to have a way to track success. You can't just say, I want to find more leads. But if you say, I want to find 50 leads a week, now you've got something that is measurable. You need goals that are attainable, but they're still going to challenge you. If you set goals that are easy and you know you can accomplish really easily, then you're not going to work any harder than you have before. So you need something that is going to stretch you, that is going to push you, that is going to make you get outside of your comfort zone, but still something that is possible for you to accomplish. They need to be attainable. They need to be realistic. If this is your first year full-time in voiceover saying, I'm going to make $100,000 this year, not necessarily attainable or realistic. Now, maybe in four years but not necessarily on the first year. And all goals need a deadline. And for what it's worth, December 31st, 2020 is not a really great deadline. You're going to have to tighten it up a little bit more than that. But I want you to take all of those things into consideration, figure out what it is that you're working towards. And then I want you to filter everything that you do through that lens so that when you're sitting in your office and you're working on things, ask yourself, Is this getting me closer to my goal? Is binge watching this show on Netflix getting me closer to my goal? 
is falling down the Facebook rabbit hole for two or three hours a day, getting me closer to my goal. Is the online Xbox gaming that I'm doing for three or four hours a day getting me any closer to my goal? Are all of these little busy work tasks that I'm inventing for myself, because they're really easy to do, so it makes me feel productive, getting me any closer to my goal? Filter everything through that lens, and I promise you, you are going to have a more productive and successful year in 2020. Seven reasons you need to set goals. They will give you clarity so that you know what you're working towards. They're going to help you focus so that you are working on the things that you need to be working on. They're going to help you to formulate a plan for how you are going to get there. You can't hit an unidentified target. As you are working towards them, you are going to build momentum. Make sure that you have accountability. Somebody that is going to pat you on the back and say, great job when you're doing the things that you need to do. Somebody that is going to put boot to butt when you're not doing the things that you are supposed to be doing. The goals that you set are going to help you to unlock that potential because I promise you, you are capable of achieving more, so much more than what you may think or realize. And ultimately, it's how you're going to get the wins. If you don't know what you're aiming for, if you don't know what you're trying to accomplish, how are you supposed to know if you're winning or not? Take some time. Set some goals. Make 2020 your best year ever. Guys, thanks so much for checking out another episode of the podcast. And I am wishing you a very happy, healthy, prosperous 2020 with so many good things to come. All you got to do is go and get them. Remember, you can check out any episode anytime at vopreneur.com. Don't forget, you never have to miss another episode again by subscribing at Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and Podbean. Thanks so much for listening. I'll catch you on the next one. The Everyday Vopreneur Podcast. Available everywhere fine podcasts are given away for free. Mostly, we think. Your number one marketing tool is your voiceover demos. When you're posting them online, you want to be sure they're playable on any device and with any browser. The Voice Sam Player does exactly that. Sign up at msvo.me slash msvoicesam and receive three months of Voice Sam for the price of one. Sign up now at msvo.me slash msvoicesam. And scene. And that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging in. Thanks for hanging out. Want more VOPreneur goodness? Jump online at VOPreneur.com.